The issue, housing security and Baltimore City's initiatives to try to prevent evictions and keep people from becoming homeless. Access to housing is a human right um, and the threat of eviction or even eviction uh, is a really uh, traumatic experience for anyone. But last month, some tenants faced getting tossed out of their homes. Months of back rent still unpaid by the city. The tenants rely on assistance from the Mayor's Office of Homeless Services and service providers. It has contracts with organizations like Dayspring and Community Housing Associates. Those agencies get federal money from the city to pay rent. At a hearing Tuesday, the council wanted to know about the various issues, including when the funds arrive from HUD, and the executive director said the office is experiencing challenges, including staff turnover and training. We do have to make improvements in terms of not only um, the work that we're doing um, with our providers and to make sure that um, you know, when these issues of evictions or issue, even issues with landlords come up, that when the providers are addressing that. She says the office is not making any excuses. It is committed to fixing the payment issues and now has written standard operating procedures, something it did not have before. And it's working with the city Department of Finance. It is very difficult to have trust any lo longer as a small landlord when we are asked to financially support many families with no funds. Landlords and tenants told the council how the funding delays impact them. Kimberly Brown has throat cancer. She's gotten five rent court notices. She had her mother, Sandra Jones, speak for her. In August, right after my third surgery, I received an eviction notice indicating I had to be out by 829 and that was on 87. Council members had plenty of questions, including what happened with the $10 million grant and unused funding that had to be returned to HUD. But this entire fiasco is wildly concerning, uh, puts the city's finances in jeopardy. And council members also asked why they had not been informed about this before and why it wasn't brought up during the budget process. They once again brought up having more communication with and more transparency from the mayor's office. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.